I've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time. We'll take a look at how they see you, the person you're dealing with, how you, how you see them, and then we'll talk about why it's happening. So Scorpio, for the present time, coming up mid-May, it could be towards the end of May, we've got the full card, and it's paired with Justice. Now the full card, it's about newness in one form or another. It indicates purity, open-hearted energy, and the innocence of a child. We know that children, they're trusting. And trust, it forms the basis of meaning for this card. This card is considered to be a positive card in the tarot, but there could be one thing. You're going to have to make sure you're looking where you're going, trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown. That's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it can be a big mistake. So, I don't know if you can see the picture of this car, but this young man, he's, he's just feeling like he has a, he's just feeling like he want to have fun. He just wants to take a leap. He's got something going on in his brain that's just making him feel like a child again. Something happened. And he's feeling wonderful. But he forgot, he forgot to look where he's walking, where he's going, so... Looks like it could be hiking. Yeah, looks like it could be somewhere up in the mountains. And he just, his energy is so childlike right now. He's, like I said, he's not looking where he's going and he's about to walk off the cliff, straight into the, you know, and he's about to take a drop. He's about to walk off a cliff and about to take a drop. Right into the Pacific Ocean. It looks like a huge ocean. There's all blue water surrounding him below. So it's about watching where you're going. And um, it's about taking a leap. Just jumping right in. So it's paired with justice. Now justice, it, it's about the ideal of karma. The law of cause and effect. It's important that not everything you're dealing with is a result of your own actions or karma. Sometimes you're called upon to deal with the results of the actions of someone you care about. So don't blame yourself unnecessarily if, yeah, yeah, don't blame yourself unnecessarily. And if you're involved in some type of court case and you get the justice card, it should be, or it's likely to be resolved at least a large degree in your favor. So... Hmm. Some karma could be returning. Some type of justice, some type of truth or clarity you'll receive. You could be feeling like you have the right to do so. And it's going to make you feel really... It's going to make you feel like this fool card. Like just taking a leap and just going hiking and not watching where you're going and just... Boom. <laughs> so just be careful where you're walking because something's going to happen whereas there's going to be clarity. Something's going to be brought to light. And it's going to feel like justice has been served. And it's going to make you, like I said, make you want to just jump. Jump right into something. Or land right into something. So why don't we move right on over. Let's take a look at how they see you. Your person sees you as the magician and the high priestess. Now the magician, it signifies new beginnings and great expectations. It reminds us that we have the power to make a difference in a whole lot of ways in our lives and even in the world. So just know that you will not have it all handed to you on a plate, but you do have the potential to have that plate and a lot of what's on it if you do the magic yourself because magician is all about action yeah so if you do nothing you'll get nothing 
And if you don't know what to do, then just do something because anything is better than nothing. In other words, if you don't try, you won't get. So you see them as possibly uh, manifesting. Maybe they manifest in you. Um, uh, the magician is also about, like you said, having manifestation powers. They could also be a trickster. They're strategic. They do a lot of planning. So let's clarify it. Okay, because it's kind of big. I know. But it's, it's clarified with the high priestess, this card below, how they see you. The high priestess could be a spiritual card. It could have some sexual overtones. It can mean that you're in a phase where you're going to be much more physically attractive to others. This card is tied to the moon, to femininity, to inspiration. This is a time to rely on your intuition and your inner knowledge rather than your conscious mind or intellect. It's also important for you to pay attention to your dreams now. So if you keep a dream diary or a journal, it's a really good idea. So they see you as this high priestess and the magician. Hmm. Now the, the high priestess is a very interesting card. A lot of people are attracted to the high priestess. They, they watch and notice every word that comes out of your mouth. Everything you do, they're just drawn to you. But the high priestess, they also pull back their energy. They can be quiet. They're very wise teachers. They're sitting really pretty, and this is how they see you. They see you as beautiful. They probably like that you come across as mysterious. Yeah, and they see you possibly, you try to manifest this connection. They see you as, they're, they see you as someone that, um, you could be quiet, but very pretty, or handsome. And, like I said, they see you as, they think you manifested them with a the magician there. Or, you, or they see you as attractive and you, you use strategy and you planned or you're planning something to happen or they could see you as a trickster. But we'll get more clarity when we recap this reading. So let's take a look at how you see them. Now you see them as the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. The Page of Pentacles, it's a card about boredom. It can be a card about boredom, yeah. You could be tempted to say or do things to shake things and people up for some excitement. So you might want to rethink that impulse and find a better use of your energy. Because excitement, it can be created. We all know that. This page of pentacles is a great energy to support you when you have tedious work to get accomplished. It gives you the focus. It gives you backbone and the will to stick to a task that's not necessarily glamorous or fun. So you see them as this page of pentacles. Um, you see them as this. This maybe the. Well, let's put it this way: when you get the page of pentacles, when you hear the word page, that's youth, that's a student, that's immaturity. Uh, that's what the word page means in the tarot. Now, somebody younger than you, okay? You see them as, um, when it comes to love questions, and you get this page of pinnacles, it may have lost some of, of its luster. So, you see them as possibly trying to bring some, excite, some excitement to this connection. Now, it's with the Four of Wands. 
The Four of Wands, it indicates that you could be attending a special event, which I know you can't do these days. One which could be more fun than you're anticipating. So, it's saying go. Say go ahead and go, but you can't do that these days. So maybe online something exciting is going on. Um, business is likely to be going well, and you'll be proud of yourself, and others will be proud of you too. Although this is a very positive card, this Four of Wands, very positive. Although it's a positive card, it shows that you need to keep your wits about you and although you deserve and should treat yourself to some fun, but just know that you're still in a building up phase and now is really not the time to rest completely on your laurels. This card can sometimes, it can mean that you're moving your place of residence. So when it comes to love questions and you get the four of wands, it indicates that your relationship is about to become a whole lot more committed up to potential marriage. Could, could move in together, maybe a baby, the next level. Engagement, proposal, yeah. So, you see them as maybe, maybe they're younger than you with this page of pinnacles. Uh, maybe they you see them as being a little bit immature and they do things just to shake things up for some excitement. Uh, maybe they get bored real easy. So that's how you see them. But they want, you, see, you know that they want to, they want this connection. You know that they uh, will take it to the next level. You know this. But they could be a little bit immature, trying to stir things up sometimes. So, that's how you see them. Now let's move over and let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the Nine of Wands, and it's with the Knight of Cups. Nine of Wands is about anxiety and worry, being burdened and teed up over concerns. The first and the best step is to usually take a deep breath and calm down. Don't let things that you're worried about overwhelm you. Take it one day at a t take it one day at a time, one hour at a time, if you can do that. Because at least some of the worries they'll likely turn out to be imaginary. So get specific on what you're afraid of and pick it apart. Ask yourself what is the true likelihood of the worry actually happening. Comfort yourself, and if you need help, don't hesitate to ask for it. Asking for help is the mark of a strong person. So yeah, something happened that caused some worry and anxiety, and somebody stressed out. Somebody stressed the heck out. If you could see the picture, yeah, the picture on this card. This man he looks like he surrounded himself in. He surrounded himself in nine wands, and there's a fire behind him that's coming towards him. It's behind him, but it, it could come towards him. It looks like it is. Fires move fast. We all know that. And it looks like you're ready to battle someone, but there's no one there. There's absolutely no one there. This card is the Nine of Wands. Yeah, that's the card that's showing above the word what happening. And somebody's, like I said, stressed the heck out. Somebody is really closed off and guarded. Something happened here. Now it's with the Knight of Cups, which is a. I like the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is um, one. Well, it's an optimistic, good card to see in a reading. It comes with messages, so someone wants to reach out to you. Yeah, someone's got something to say, and it's usually kind of good news messages that we all want to receive. Things are going well, and you're likely to be feeling charged up, ready for action, this Knight of Cups. Uh, this card means good news, especially when it comes to the heart. It's likely to be coming your way soon. So yeah, why it's happening, you or your person has got something to say, and it's about matters of the heart. Uh, the Knight of Cups is very romantic and sensitive. So you'll be hearing from your person or you'll be reaching out to them and it's it's all good. 
Knight of Cups, someone wants to rush in and bring you their cup of love. It's all good with the Knight of Cups. So let's recap this reading so that we can get the full picture. We get the complete, complete meaning of what we just learned about these cards. So for the present time coming up in mid-May, could go towards the end of May, it could. The energies are interchangeable and the time is fluid, so just keep that in mind. So the Fool card and the Justice card. So s Fool card is about just feeling so great you're just going to take a leap right into the Pacific Ocean because you're just, you're just so happy you, you just want to jump right in. you got the innocence of a child, child, that's how this person is feeling. And they forgot to watch where they're going, so they just, they just want to have fun. You know, they don't care where they land. Um, because some justice has been served. There's some truth and clarity. And your person, they see you as possibly, you tried to, did you manif try to manifest this connection? Or are you trying to manifest your st being strategic, your planning? And because the the high priestess is there, they see you as they're drawn to you. They like you. They they think you're beautiful, and they see you possibly try to manifest this connection. You tried to did you try to manifest this person, Scorpio? Or are you trying to? Or are you planning on something? You're using some type of strategy. That's what the magician does, but. You do know that they, they think that you're, um, yeah, you do know they like you with the high priestess there. Now, you see them as um, probably um, maybe a little bit immature. They do things uh, that you don't really like. It could be annoying with this page of pentacles. But you see them as wanting to celebrate life and celebrate this connection. And they, you see, you think that they want to take it to the next level with the Four of Wands. But then there's this anxiety card, the Nine of Wands. So, who's stressed out here? Somebody's uh, is starting to feel closed off like they want to guard, guard themselves. Closed off and guarded. So who could be doing that? Who's doing that in this reading, Scorpio? Someone is... Yeah, when you get this Nine of Wands, it's important to remember that no relationship and nothing on earth can stand up to constant picking and nagging, dissecting. Um, so this Nine of Wands can be about giving your person some breathing space. Yeah, that's, that's if you're in a relationship, if you're with someone. It could just be about giving your person some breathing space. Because uh, it looks like, I'm going to say it's your person with the Knight of Cups. They want to, they want to come in and offer you their cup of love with the Knight of Cups. Because they're the ones that want to take this to the next level. And, hmm, okay, so they're pick, I'm picking up that they, they like you so much. They see you as beautiful. They are really attracted to you, and they have stress now because you see them as possibly bored with this connection. You see them as uh, maybe immature and they do silly stuff just to um, shake things up. You see them as kind of immature and you see them as wanting to take it to the next level. They see you as attractive and because they do silly stuff, like this page, I told you the page is a youth, a student, 
Girls do silly, silly, dumb stuff sometimes. Uh, and they know that it probably bothers you. So it causes them stress. Okay. They get stressed out sometimes because that's probably just their personality. They can't help it as they do crazy things sometimes. <laughs> just to shake things up. So they know it probably gets on your nerves, so they probably get uh, worried about it. Yeah. So a lot of times they rush right in as a Knight of Cups and uh, try to make it better, try to make things better for you so that you don't think they're so childish. And they offer you some flowers or their cup of love, or that's what they plan to do. Okay, because they know you can't stand when they get really immature and silly. So they're worried about it sometimes. You know, they don't want you to think they're too, too goofy. Cause that's the what the page of, that's what the page of Pentacles. This guy with his one Pentacles. Yeah, they get this do silly stuff, kind of immature. So they want to come across as mature. They want to rush in, cause sometimes they, like I said, they get worried. You might leave them cause they can be so goofy. So. They're thinking they should rush in and bring you flowers or a cup of love. Okay. But, um, so I'm just picking up for the present time. We go back to that. This, oh, this fool card. This could be you or your person. I'm picking up it's your person because they're the page or pinnacles. So a lot of times, like I said, they could come across as really silly and... This could be them just having the open-hearted energy of a child. And just let them know to be careful where they're walking, you know, because you don't want them to land just anywhere. And about the justice card, justice has been served. Uh, I don't see anything negative in this, in this reading. Justice has been served. They, wa they always want to make it right. Because you got the Knight of Cups in here for your why it's happening. Your person, they just want to make it right. They like you. They're attracted to you. They, they don't want you to, you know, think of them in a negative light. So justice has been served because they always try to come in and make it right with the Knight of Cups. So it's a beautiful reading. I don't see anything, anything negative in there. So I kind of like this reading for you. Your person is, looks like they're, they stay stuck on you, Scorpio. And whenever you think they're too much, they come running in and offering you that cup of love. And then it feels like justice has been served. So Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings... They do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended version of this reading where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation. What's in the near future for the two of you? How you see yourself? Best case scenario and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link for personal readings below if you'd like to try one of those. So, Scorpio, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I hope you join me for the next reading, which is in about another four or five days. So, stay safe out there with this crazy virus. Be strong. Be strong, most important, until we get through all this mess. And I hope you have a great day, and I hope that May is a beautiful month for you and your person. Once again, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.